Good morning, Kingsley community. Pastor Colleen Weirman here coming to you with another daily devotion for Monday morning, May 13th, 2024. I'm going to use our daily bread. Large print. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. May 13th, 2 Chronicles 18, Old Testament, 9 through 16. We're going to concentrate on 2 Chronicles 18, verse 13. These are the Chronicles of the King, so it's like a historical document written by the kings of Israel. As you, as surely as the Lord lives, I can tell him only what my God says. So it's called The Solitary Voice by Tim Gustafson. Tim writes, after the Paris Peace Conference that concluded World War I, French Marshal Ferdinand Foch bitterly observed, quote, this is not peace, it is an armistice I'm not saying that right. For 20 years, Foch's, Foch's view contradicted the popular opinion that the horrifying conflict would be the war to end all wars. 20 years and two months later, World War II erupted. Foch was right. Long ago, Micaiah, the lone prophet, lone true prophet of God, present at the time consistently prophesied dire military results for Israel, 2 Chronicles 18.7. In contrast, four king, 400 of King Ahab's false prophets foretold victory. Look, the other prophets, without exception, are predicting success for the king, a court official told Micaiah. Let your word agree with theirs and speak favorably, verse 12. Micaiah responded, I can tell him only what my God says, verse 13. He prophesied how Israel would be scattered on the hills like sheep without a shepherd, verse 16. Micaiah was right. The Armenians killed Ahab and his army fled, verses 34 through 30, 33 through 34, which can also be found in 1 Kings 22, 35 through 36. So what you read in Kings is recorded in Chronicles. So the first and second Kings, um, you'll see. Like Micaiah, who, we who follow Jesus share a message that contradicts popular opinion. Jesus said, no one comes to the Father except through me, John 14, 6. Many don't like that message because it seems harshly narrow, too exclusive, people say. Yet Christ brings a comforting message that's inclusive. He welcomes everyone who turns to him. When the Spirit leads you to say or do something, how will you do so in love? When have your own assumptions needed to be challenged by God? So don't assume. You know what they say about the word assume. So here's the deal. You know, Jesus said, no one comes to the Father except through me. We know that that's an inclusive offer of grace for all people. And so it's not exclusive, it's inclusive. It's whether you choose to know Christ as Lord and Savior. So when the Spirit of God leads you to say or do something, how will you do so in love? So we can't just say, you're wrong, that's not right. The Bible says this, and I know all truth. You know, we believe in the absolute truth, God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. However, <laughs> we don't, Know everything God knows. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are above our thoughts. And so what we need to do is depend on God to help guide us in the direction that is always good because that's what the Holy Spirit will always lead you to good. Now, God might lead you through a challenge to strengthen your faith muscles or to help you get rid of a deep-seated sin that's resonating with you. Um, so whatever it is, God will prune you, work on you, and lead you through times that or allow things to happen so that you will turn to him and rely on him. Look at the Old Testament. He did it all the time with Israel. They turned their back on God. They worshiped pagan gods. And, you know, people say, well, that's not good that God took his protective covering off Israel and then people slaughtered him. Well, okay. Do you want to know these pagan gods who they were worshiping? Um, the pagan gods would say, bring your baby Stick it on the altar, and we're going to sacrifice that baby to Chamash or Baal or some other pagan god. You see why God was a little mad? 
And yet Israel would cry out, God's people would cry out, help us, save us, Lord, and he would do that. So that's what I find to be um, the amazing prevening grace of God is that even if we, he always promised that he'd keep a remnant of Israel, a people of, you know, a small group of his people to continue the lineage of Jesus Christ, the Savior, because that was his ultimate plan. So <clears throat> when have you assumed or when have your assumptions needed to be challenged by God? So, yeah, you can go talk to people that are going to agree with you. You can hang around with people that are always going to agree with you. Or you can talk to God and let him lead you to people that disagree with you. And maybe you have a good conversation and you'll learn something from God in the meantime. But you got to be brave enough to do it. Let's pray. Father, please give us wisdom to discern your truth. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so you enjoy your day. It's going to be a nice day. Hopefully you don't have to work like me. Have a good day.